become nearly impossible to do. So what hope do moms and dads have? Well, in this short series, Chip guides parents to create a home built on love, respect, and most importantly, the Bible. Don't miss how you can establish a well-adjusted, counter-cultural family that may look odd to some, but truly honors God. If you miss it, I remember years ago, Burton Jones, who was governor, just passed away this past year. We were on the stage together many times throughout Kentucky's counties, where I sang my old Kentucky home, was elected as the superintendent of education for the state of Kentucky, and he was elected governor. We were down on Fancy Farm picnic stage one time, and he saw where I was getting folks to sign in my Bible, including himself. And he said, John, he said, why do you ask people to, to sign into your Bible? And I said, well, because uh, it's the most important book in the world, and uh, I want them to know that and to teach that. And uh, he said, you're the most God-fearing person I've ever known. And I said, well, Maybe that's so, but it's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to love. And the best way I can love anyone is by encouraging them to read the Bible and give their life to the Lord. That's the reason we named my show, Are You Ready? Are you ready for Jesus? He knocks on everybody's door, but the knob's on the inside. We must reach down, turn the knob, and invite him into our hearts. And that's what we do with voting. We invite Jesus into our hearts. One of the greatest rights we have is voting, free elections, and we should protect those rights. That's why I'm standing out here now for my niece, Julie Jaddock, who's running for the state senate. She might win, she might not win. That's God's will, God's way. But I know one thing, I've helped her as hard as I can as an 80-year-old uncle giving a lift to my little niece, who is a wonderful young lady, raised four great children, and taught the second grade, and teaches education in her church, and understands and studies the Bible. That's one of the things I love about Julie Jaddock. Miss June and I ask you to vote for her, but if you have to vote for somebody else or she doesn't win, she'll go on being a wonderful servant for the Lord, either way but she could certainly help the people of Kentucky as a state senator in the 17th district here in the southern part of Kenton County. A great deal, all of Grant County, all of Scott County, and part of Fayette County. She would be a wonderful state senator, working with my good friend Kim Mosher, who's running for re-election, who's a great senator. God bless them all, the Roberts over there in Boone County, and Steve Rawlings of Boone County, all of the the Tea Party folks who are running as Republicans and, and Steve Doan, well, good legislators. I love them all. And they're doing a great job. And of course, I support Donald Trump and uh, think the world of him and, and uh, Congressman Thomas Massey. Not all, all those people perfect? No, they're not perfect. But they work hard. And I look at the four years that Donald Trump was in there and he did a great job for the United States of America, and for the world, and for godly principles. And Thomas Massey is on top of everything, watching everything. I don't agree with him on everything, but he certainly is a hard-working congressperson. And I've sang for both of them many times, and I sang for you today. Oh, the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home, tis summer. The children at play, the corn tops ripe, and the meadows are in bloom, and the birds make music all the day. Weep no more, my ladies, oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home far away. Oh, the children. Play on the little cabin floor. All merry, all happy, 
and bright. By and by, hard times comes a knocking at the door. Then my old Kentucky home says good night. Weep no more, my ladies. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home, far away, for my old Kentucky home, far away. Listen to WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial. Tri-State Gospel with Gil and Jan Hammond. Falmouth, Kentucky, Post Office Box 50, 41040 zip code. A great radio station with great music and great sermons. God bless you all. there right now and then just push this little button here two or three times when you get back there so that the sign my signs in the picture I got you. okay yes, and then I appreciate it very much I'm assigning okay I know you good Straight. That's all that now let me ask you this question can I ask you all your names since I'm a Simon Kenton grad? I'm Jackson. Hang on just a second. Now, okay, you'll be on my television show. Now, who are you? What's your name? Sean Marshall. John and? Jackson. Yeah, Jackson? Yeah. Well, I graduated from Simon Kenton in 1961 and ran the 100, 220, and 440 and played basketball and baseball and loved Simon Kenton uh, uh, unbelievably in 1961. Then I went on to be superintendent of education 
for the whole state of Kentucky in 1992. Now I'm just old, but my little niece, I'll give you all one of these, she's running for state senator here in southern Kenton County, and uh, um, so I was up here supporting her uh, like she supported me when she was a little tiny girl. Yeah. Run, I ran for Commissioner of Agriculture for Kentucky. So God bless both of you. Uh, are you studying in school pretty good? Yeah, we're about to take finals. Oh, did you have your finals? Are you really? Yeah. Well, you're going to go to college somewhere. Are you? What year are you in? I'm a sophomore. Right now. Sophomore, freshman. freshman. Well, you're, my name's John Stevenson. When you get ready to get in college somewhere, you remember my name, and you can use it as a reference. And I'll try to help you get some scholarships. Okay. God bless both of you as you study hard and work hard and keep Jesus in your heart. Bye now.